which the Fockers, the triplane, the D8 and the D7 were all in excess of 100 knots. But the Camel could outmaneuver any of the swing figures which she could have And in the right hand system, it's quite a big difference. Interestingly, if you look closely at the two software designs here, you'll notice that software triplane longer fuselage, bigger tail surfaces. To get that manoeuvrability, Sopwiths made the camel shorter and stubbier, all the way concentrated on the nose, and smaller tail surfaces loosely. I think it was a real handful to fly, but if you could master it, you would have killed it. Basically, on the way, the engine would have used to fly and be concentrated between the wings. Very short moment after the engine, and the engine effects and the short moment, and having the weight concentrated. The oh, trouble is, it also made it very tricky to handle, particularly in landing. Uh, consequently, a lot of young novice pilots wrote camels off early in their careers. Especially in landing accidents, it must be said. But once you master it, boy, did you have a machine. First flew on the 22nd of December, 5,490 aircraft were produced between 1916 right the way up until 1920. Designed, of course, by Herbert Smith. And a great design, indeed. Size from the twin 303 water cooled Vickers in the nose, and could carry a series of light anti personnel bombs and a rack under the fuselage for ground attack missions. Or could be fitted with the Priya balloon busting rockets in between the wings and the wing struts. Made famous, of course, by Snoopy. And of course, Biddles, Biddles the 266, he was a camel pilot. And I think there is this interesting thing, and the imagination gets caught by certain aeroplanes during the second. We had the SE 5A, and we had the Sopwith Camel in some respects. You know, the SE 5A was, and we'll talk about that when we get to see one in the air. Was perhaps the better aeroplane that everyone remembers the camel. That's largely because the camel had that rare quality. You've got a very valid point there. And what I would say also that this aeroplane is a tribute to a great bunch of volunteers. This is the third and final aircraft that was built by the Northern Aircraft Workshops uh, up in uh, Batley, West Yorkshire. Uh, an arrangement that lasted 40 years and the, uh, the team there stood down at the end of uh, 2016. They built the Sopwith triplane replica, they built the Bristol M1C monoplane, which we'll also see in the sky uh, sometime very shortly. Uh, this aircraft came here.